Hi, it's Dominique. I just received a small order from Joanne and I wanted to show you what I got. So first of all, I got some magnets. Those magnets you can only buy online. They don't have them uh, in store. Those are the basic gray. Those are the regular ones. By the way, there's only one magnet here. It's not like pairs. So you only have 20 of them here. So I got four packages. And also I got the large ones. They're not stronger because there's the same thickness as the other ones, but they're just a little bit larger. So you have to be careful and test when you use those. Uh, they might not be hard, uh, strong enough for if you need stronger than using this. It's just the same. It's the same thickness, so you don't get more um, uh, mag magnetize magnetization. <laughs> okay. So I got these. Also, uh, I had bought this paper pad before. I had showed you shown you before. It's the Simple Stories Oh Baby, and it was really cheap, like it was 40% off, paid like 4 or $5 for this pad. They're really, really cute. The only thing is that they're double-sided, but there's only one of each. So after you used one of each, then you cannot get one of each. Let me check here, this one here. No, I haven't seen those. They're all one of each. So you have to be careful what you're using. So in order to be able to make a decent album so I decided to buy another one so you have uh, 25 24 sheets of 6 by 8 uh, 8 designer prints and then the rest is just like stripes and things like that they're really really cute I love the colors so I was waiting uh, for that second pad uh, before I made that uh, project and also I had bought the matching stickers uh, here you have the numbers up to 12, cute little stickers, so sweet, uh, precious and all that, and then all those little words, more stickers. So with that, I'm going to be able to make a cute little album. Nothing too big because those stickers are really tiny, and uh, but it's going to be something that's going to be very nice, very much, a lot of fun to make. So this one is that. Also, I have bought this Honoring the Past scrapbooking kit from Karen Foster. So I'm going to open it. I haven't opened it yet, so I just want to show you what it looks like. Here again, they have um, they have uh, ten. Uh, let me check. Eight papers, only eight sheets, and two sticker here. Those stickers are. I have worked with some of Karen Foster's uh, papers. It was the uh, the wine friends wine thing, and uh, those stickers are so precious. They really helped. Uh, making that album, uh, creating the album. So they have only these sheets, but some of them they have two. So these two here, okay, there's nothing in the back. Here they have two, two of these. Then they have one of this, one of this. Then one of this and this one too. It's very important. This probably I will be making a little booklet. Cut that, cut those, and then make a booklet. So you only have eight sheets. So I said, mm, I can make something not too big, but I think I need a second pack. They were worth ten dollars a pack. It's not cheap, but I got them on sale, so I got two packs of those. So I'll be able to make a smaller and a medium-sized book. Using a lot of matting, just uh, plain uh, uh, solid color cardstock for the matting. But uh, they re I thought they were really nice, so I wanted to uh, for sure make an album. And this is very in, like generation, uh, genealogy. So I really need to, um, to make something out of that. So I can't wait to work with those. So I've got two of those. Also, this one I have worked with many times. I had bought the uh, paper pad, which is, uh, I don't know, maybe 36 sheets in the past, last year and the years before, and they don't make them anymore. All they make now is the kit. So I'm going to show you what that is. Okay, great. Wedding day. So I have worked with uh, the, the kit last summer, and it was a lot of fun. And again, here they have some stickers. I'm going to show you first the sheets. So this is a signature sheet. So in the packs I used to have two of each and also I had a lot more designs with the sparkles, the, the blings and all that. 
So here I have just the two of each. They're double sided though, so it's easier to um, to make uh, to create an album without having too much problems. <laughs> if you have problems, you can still uh, cope uh, with the uh, papers because you have two of them. So it's this one here. Then you got this one here. Two of them. This is the back. And this one here. Forever begins today. Two of those. And the back is this one. I'm not making it 12 by 12, that's for sure. So I'm taking maybe 6 by 6 or 7 by 6, something like that. So I'll still be using those like corners of that one. And this one here with the wood again. And the flowers. Two of that. And this is what you got in the back. These are cards, very, very precious. And the back is this. So I'm not, since I'm not using two cards of the same uh, design in uh, my albums, then I will be using for sure this one here. And here you have a sticker sheet. You have, uh, is that just the one? Yeah. So you have all those here and some uh, alphabet, a couple borders. So those are very precious. And what I had found that well they, they provide these white and gold and white and gold really do, do not match this paper there's nothing gold about this this is all like barn uh, or uh, country wedding and country wedding you don't have any gold so that's not matching but what I did I used those in the uh, I do from photoplay uh, wedding album I had made right after this one last summer if you want to go back to uh, probably July I would say July or August have made those two albums so you can check that um, and see how I have used those and it really really helped the other paper collection the photo play uh, we do uh, but what I did this morning I went shopping and I've seen those uh, I think it was at Joanne yeah and those as you can see they really really match and those are 3d stickers they've got foam and then they're like two three layers and those really match so I thought that it would be really nice to get those to match this paper collection so I thought maybe if you buy this this uh, collection here the, the wedding day from paper house scrapbooking kit uh, you have to get those you have those in store this you don't have in store only joanne.com but these I bought in store it was a 40% off uh, uh, on this uh, all the stickers they had there so I thought that would really, really make the trick. So that's one thing that I wanted to show you. And uh, I think that's about it. I didn't, didn't get a big order. I don't order much because I have so many papers, a lot of uh, hauls I've made, and I haven't used those papers yet. So it'll be coming. It's just um, I'm making just a little bit at a time. I don't want to have like a, a whole uh, 5 by 10 storage room uh, full of my albums. So I make sure I make uh, some as the, uh, the ones I have made go because they're either sold or given away so then uh, I can make more so there we go those are really nice paper collections I really recommend that you buy them and don't forget to buy your your magnets when they're on sale I don't suggest you buy them uh, at the regular price and that's what it is so I hope you like those and if you do buy them well show me send me a picture what you made with your projects that you've made with the papers I recommend because I really I'm really curious to see what people can make with those so thank you for watching until next time happy scrapping bye bye